<laughs> what, and then you woke up? Yeah. Take a hundred miles a fucking hour. Aw, oh, poor PP. Are you still whining over that shit? Hey, what happened to that blonde with her clothes? What happened to the blonde with her clothes? What? Oh, that psycho. She took phone messages that I called. She took phone messages that I called and told her to knock her shit off. And by the way, she owed me money for the time she was there pigging out on my food and stuff. And she's not just going to come and skate without signing the paperwork and paying the money. Otherwise, her stuff's sitting still. And so she took the phone. Hang on a second. She took the phone messages and put them up on Facebook. Is she fucking nuts? No, I'm not. Absolutely not. She has paperwork. No, no, you don't know the whole story. You know her side of the story. You know her side of the story. That's it. Her side of the story. No, no, see, see, that's not the truth. That's the lie. That is not the truth. And since you've never asked me the truth, all you know is her bullshit in your head. So I would just eradicate the bullshit. You know what? It's not even at my place anymore. It's been put in storage until she signs the paperwork and makes the payment she owes. And tell her to, you know what, you want to help? Tell her to sign the motherfucking paper and shut the fuck up and then I'll give her her stuff. If she doesn't shut up and sign the paper, she's not getting anything. I'll see her in court. It's that fucking simple right now. It's that simple. She can sign the contract that she agreed to sign two months ago and shut the fuck up or she'll be in court for slander and a lot of other shit. I'm not going to play with this one anymore. Oh, it is very slanderous. And the stuff she's texting me and telling the cops, she's going to be in such criminal charges if she doesn't learn to shut the fuck up quick. Oh, yeah, she's already gone to the cops. A simple non-disclosure, as she promised months ago, and for her to shut the fuck up. That's all I want. That's all I've been asking her for since before she moved in and she agreed before she put her shit in my house that she'd sign it. And I told her not to put her shit in my house. I told her to put it outside in the storage unit. She moved it in when I wasn't paying attention. I never authorized her to put her shit in my house. In fact, I pissed off and told her, what the fuck did you do this for? Well, it's my room. I said, no, it's not. You don't have any signed paper. You don't live here. You haven't given me a dime and you owe me a hundred dollars. Yes, she did. Yes, actually it is. Yeah, let me have let me have my moment of insanity. The only thing you can do to help is tell her to sign the fucking contract, get it to me like she promised, be a person of her word, and shut the fuck up and she'll get everything today. Unless that happens, she's not getting anything. In fact, it'll go to goodwill if it doesn't get settled by Friday. I'm done fucking around with this cunt. I would rather have her thrown in jail because she's a ruthless little bitch. She sponges money off me all the time. She owes me hundreds of dollars. I'm not even trying to collect all of that. I just want the NDA and for her to shut the fuck up. She's a loose cannon. And if we don't get her taken care of, she'll become a bigger one. That's why I'm trying to handle it the legal way, the way the attorneys have told me to handle it. The way the way the attorneys have told me to handle it, not the way Ken told me to handle it. I've talked to my attorneys. I'm talking. I'm not bullshitting. No, no, that's not a that's not even the truth. That's her lie. That's not the truth. Well, again, it's lies.
And do I really care? And do I care? Sign the paperwork, shut the fuck up, and as soon as it's signed, she can have her shit back. Otherwise, her shit is going in a garbage dumpster on Friday. I'm not fucking around with this anymore. That's right. Hey, she's had the goddamn contract for two months. It doesn't take forever to sign a piece of fucking paper. So I'm not going to argue about it anymore. She can sign it, or she can go fuck herself. And that's what she's doing. She's fucking herself by not signing it. She's lied. I have recordings of her. I have re- time out. I have recordings of her saying she signed it in Senate. I have texts of her saying she signed it in Senate, and she lied. And then I said, "You haven't sent it." She said, "Well, I don't want to send it." So this is how two-faced she is. I have in text her own lies in text, where she contradicts herself in text. So I'm not going to do shit for her. She hasn't. Yeah, electronically. Electronically, I have it. She has it. I've sent it to her six times. It's in her fucking email. She knows what the document is. She's a big girl, Ken. Stop holding her fucking ass. Then tell her to stop fucking calling you. Tell her like I did. I said, stop fucking calling me or I'll get a restraining order. She hasn't called me since. can if you'd like to. I've been begging her to. That's all the thing that's holding this up is that piece of paper. That in her big fucking mouth. She, no, 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 no. She's already told me in writing, mom's going to let her use her truck and she'll come by herself to pick the shit up. She's already told me that in writing. So if she shows up with even one other person, she'll never see her shit again. Because again, that would be a breach of the NDA. I don't want her dragging her fucking gangster friends over to my house. I picked her up at a fucking crack house where gangsters were walking out. There's no fucking way any of those people are coming near my house. That's why I want that NDA signed. That's why I want it signed. So I'm fucking protected. Because she knows some real fucking criminals. At least I have a piece of paper that I can bend her ass over in court because it says right in it, if you breach it, I get you plus I get legal fees. I get damages.